Now question number 10. Angle subtended by optotype on the first line of Snellen's chart when the patient is seated at 6 meters. Now I have not given you any of the options here because I want you to know the concept. Arrive with the answer and look for the answer in the given options. Okay, so that is the best bet for you to get the right answer. Otherwise, you know, there's no point looking at the options without calculating. Yes, because when you calculate and when you're good at relatively good at mathematics, not like me. So when you're good at, you know, just ordinary division types, okay, division and multiplication. So if you're good at that, you get the answer and you match it. Yes, because you cannot mug up these questions because every time I can give you different combinations of different lines on the Snellens, different distance. So there's no point mugging it up. So I want you to know these concepts. So what are these concepts? What is an optotype? Optotype is a letter on a Snellens chart. So if it is an E, this is the optotype, the letter on a vision chart is optotype. So you can have a single letter as in the first line or you can have multiple letters as you go down the chart. Okay, So the letter on the letter or it's a C, that ring, all those are called optotypes. Okay, So you know what is an optotype. Now the optotype is designed in such a way that each limb of it subtends what is called as minimum angle of resolution at the foveola. Okay? So each limb meaning the colored portion and the blank space. So each of it subtends minimum angle of resolution what we call MAR. Yes, MAR. So in one Snellen's letter you have five MARs. Yes, so the entire optotype is 5 times MAR. Yes, the first limb, the blank space, the second limb, the blank space and the third limb, horizontal limbs. Got it? Okay. Now, what is minimum angle of resolution? You know what it is, but in terms of formula. Minimum angle of resolution is inverse of visual acuity. Okay, it is a inverse of visual acuity. Now what is visual acuity? It has a numerator and a denominator if you all will remember. So the numerator is the distance at which patient is standing or seated during my examination, during examination. Yes. What is the denominator? The distance at which a normal or ideal person can read it from. I will tell you something. So when I say a visual acuity for example 6 by 60. Yes. 6 by 60 means the patient is at 66 meters numerator and denominator 60 meters is the distance at which a normal person can read even when he is standing at 60 meters denominator. So even if I suppose I am normal, okay, even if I stand at 60 meters I can read that particular optotype whereas the patient in question is standing at 6 meters and reading that particular line. Is that clear? Okay. So when I say his visual acuity is that much, that is his maximum. So he is reading only that line. He is not able to read anything below that. Okay. Now, so what are the reading distances of lines of Snell and chart? So when you know the first line, it makes sense to know at least the first two lines. The topmost line, 60 meter, that is the denominator, ideal person stands at 60 meters. Second line, 36 meters. Yeah. Now there is another question, what is the testing distance, normal testing distance of Snellen's chart. See Snellen's, what is the uh, chart distance, we do it at 6 meters or 20 
yes understood all this okay now let's come to a question now that you know all this so what is the angle subtended by the optotype of the first line so first step one find the visual acuity step two find the minimum angle of resolution step three what have they asked angle subtended by optotype now you that you know what each word and each concept means it's going to be very easy for you so what is the visual acuity of my patient what is the distance at which the patient is seated six meter so this is the numerator yes six the first line of the snellens chart what is the ideal distance that is denominator first line i told you 6 meter 60 meters 6 by 60 you don't have to do the division now what is mar reverse inverse of visual acuity which is 60 by 6 which is 10 minutes of arc but my question is asking angles subtended by the entire optotype because what was minimum angle of resolution each limb only so the entire angle 5 times mar so what is 5 times mar 5 into 10 so for this question 50 minutes of arc yes that is your answer so whichever option has 50 minutes of arc so now you take a look at the four options they would have given you they would be very smart to definitely include 10 minutes of arc because you would have stopped at step 2 you'd be very happy oh, okay i got my answer so it's not 10 if they ask you minimum angle of resolution for the same setting then it would be 10 minutes of arc but because they asked angle of the entire optotype it would be 50 minutes of arc yes guys it's very simple no very simple